okay with me recording this session? Yeah, sure. Tell me where it all started. Okay, well, um, everything started when uh, I became friends with May. Um, we became friends because I started hanging out with her after school while I was waiting for my mom to pick me up. And she introduced me to Rose, her best friend, because I thought they were just so amazing. Like these amazing people who knew what they wanted from life. And they didn't need anyone else other than themselves and each other. And I thought that it, that was just so freeing, not to need people. But then I, at the same time, I, I needed them. Like, if I wasn't with them, I, I felt so distraught and like, panicked and I couldn't breathe. And then when I was with them, it felt okay. Like, I felt like I belonged with them. They were always together beforehand and I don't know, May, like, I don't know. I think May was in love with her because you, you, you could just feel it. She would always just like watch her and they didn't, they didn't need me because they had each other at that point and they, maybe they both realized how much that they loved each other and they didn't need me around for some weird support, some need to feel like admiration in some kind of form and, or shape. Yeah. So this one time we like went to the beach and um, it was like, it was pretty like secluded that day. So we got really high and we just talked for hours and hours just about life and our families and growing up and what we wanted in life and what our goals are and our plans and what we didn't have planned and what scared us and it was truly amazing just just being so open and free with ourselves and just being able to like just expose those thoughts that normally you don't you don't tell people and I told them and I'd never told anyone those things before and I'd never been that open and I was with them and it just felt right it felt so normal so yeah, there was this one time and we were slightly intoxicated and we were right next to a tattoo shop and we were like, bright idea, let's go get tattoos. So we all went in and I got on a bee and May got a butterfly. So we all got insect tattoo because uh, we were fascinated with life in general and nature and I mean, we were drunk too, so that that played a lot into it. But at least I know that they will always have that mark on them. There was this day I could feel everyone just like drifting apart, and like they had this this weird their weird dynamic thing that like I was a part of, and then like I felt. Like, I felt it. Like, I felt like we were in some weird, strange, like, really fucked up love triangle. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like a love triangle. It was like, because it was like a flow. Like, we flowed. It flowed to each other. Like, we all loved each other. It was, it was, it's weird. And it, it did, it was fucked up. And it was toxic. And it, it just ended up hurting everyone. And maybe that's why they left. That's why they left me because their love for each other was way more than for me and that I, it, it sucked and I lost them and I lost the most, like the most important people in my life because I, I left everyone to be with them, to just surround myself with these two people that I, like I loved and but then now they're gone and they're probably, I don't know where they are, but they're probably together. And I mean, I haven't spoken to them in months and I just, I still think about them every day and how much like all this affected me. And yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rough time.